there, guys. What's up? Floodmon14. And we're back here with some more Yu-Gi-Oh! Nightmare Troubadour. Um, just a heads up, like, today's gonna be more of a... Uh, you know how last uh, bonus episode, like, uh, you know how last time, uh, while we were doing the stuff in the story, a lot of the characters had, like, unique dialogue and stuff? Uh, well, to be quite frank, I'm pretty curious about some of it, and see, like, what all's different, and I want to check it out. Um, yeah, one thing I did want to point out, and I found this while I was, uh, you know, making sure I was on the right save file here, uh, as far as editing goes. Um, but, uh, yeah, like, as far as the, uh, the people we face so far, like, check it out. Uh, yeah, uh, Gansey's at, uh, four stars. Um, Crump at four stars as well, and so is Johnson. So, um, yeah, if you're looking to find any of the guys, these guys, they should be four stars in your game. Uh, I think they were only one stars because, uh, uh, I've done a lot of just extra dueling, so... But, uh, yeah, yeah, they should be at, like, four or five stars. Uh, so, that, maybe that'll help you find them. Uh, then again, maybe it won't, because I think uh, Kaiba and uh, Yuki are also pretty high uh, as far as uh, their uh, ranking in this game. So, and they're usually in the second city. Um, but with that all being said, yeah, let's just uh, kind of run around and check out some uh, some characters' dialogue. Uh, okay, sure, let's see what uh, Bakura has to say <laughs> during this time. Hey, Bakura. I knew you were going to come and challenge me. Let's do it right now. Oh, that's like what he normally says, right? Uh, don't you know a plot to your foot? That's too bad. I'll leave you alone. Oh, <laughs> okay, Bakura. Uh, weird. I'm not noticing any unique <laughs> dialogue, you know, like Esperoba did. <laughs> Promising to help us out with his psychic powers. Uh, maybe the unique dialogue's all only in the second city. Uh, that's something to consider. Okay. Okay, but uh, either way, this is a bonus episode, so, you know, doesn't, you know, really matter. But yeah, we're gonna keep the duels, you know, pretty light as far as this episode goes. So, just so you guys know. Uh... I answer numerous terminus. Yeah, that's your usual dialogue, Mako. Uh, how about no? Oh, you need to leave. <laughs> All right, see you, Mako. Uh, I guess we'll just go to the second city and uh, see any unique dialogue there, I guess. Huh. Well, I guess people here in the first city don't know a plot is, plot is afoot. Hmm. I definitely didn't expect that going into this. But, uh, anyway. Yeah, there's the epic music. Okay, so let's take a look around here. Alright, let me turn this up a little bit, too. Uh, by the way, we may run into uh, some shadow games during this. And, you know, that's fine, that's fine. I plan to do those. Um, but, like I said, that's the main thing in this episode. I'm not really looking to, you know, progress the story, uh, exactly. So, I really just want to see, uh... <laughs> some of the different things people have to say, so that's that. Um, three unknown. Okay, okay. Um, yeah, like I said, I actually don't want to progress the story, so let's find. Let's just say right here on the first one. Oh, by the way, <laughs> you may hear like some fireworks going off in the background. Uh, yeah, happy 4th of July. If you happen to be watching this after, and if you're not American or whatever, don't celebrate it. Well, I hope you just have a good day in general, so there you go. But that's mainly why I decided to record a bonus episode. Uh, we've already seen Weevil's dialogue, though, so... Which one did I do? One? Yeah. So, let's see if we... Okay, so we know Weevil's here. Uh, let's see who else we can find. You know what? Maybe we'll duel Weevil to see what he has to say afterward. Uh, who's this? Oh, this is Roba. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I remember his dialogue being pretty funny, too. Cosmic forces guide me. Though Kaiba is in trouble, it's too much work to help <laughs> Yeah, that's so funny, bro. Why are you looking at me like that? Okay, fine. If you can beat me, I'll help Kaiba using my psychic powers. You know what? Sure, let's duel him. Let's duel him just to get a duel started in the episode. And see what happens, what, what he has to say if we beat him, so... <laughs> uh, okay, Roba. <laughs> But yeah, that's the plan for this episode, you know. Don't really progress the story, you know. 
look at the funny dialogue, so. Alright. <laughs> Cyber Raider, huh? Yeah, this guy's not too strong. Uh, for this bonus episode, I decided to just go with the, uh, like the flood deck. So, you know, we mostly got, uh, uh, various levels of, uh, water types in this one. W water types, yeah. No, water attribute monsters, so. Anyway, twin head of the behemoth. There you go. Twin thing. Yeah. Alright. Yeah, and also, um... so far, so I'll mind control that, yeah, um, so, I think I may also, like, load some of the other save states, uh, I'm gonna place all wishes there, I may load some of the other save states from a couple of other episodes, because I think some different characters appeared, like, I remember Saya appeared at one point, right, so, you know, uh, you know what, we'll leave a big view here, because I'm gonna probably need a graceful charity here, but yeah, I may just like load a couple of the other save states and uh, <laughs> we'll, we'll check out the dialogue. So yeah, that sounds good. Sinri Eye, huh? Okay. Yeah, because the only ones we may be able to check out right now are uh, uh, Roba and Weevil, which we've already seen. So anyway, we'll go with Graceful Charity. So I draw three and discard two. That's a good one to draw. Ooh, we got premature burial. Huh. Tell you what, I will discard Vampire Lord. Good combo, good combo. Then I'll play premature burial. Yeah. By paying 800 Roba, I can revive a zombie monster. So I'll choose my Vampire Lord. Or any monster, really. I don't know why I said zombie specifically there, but anyway. Now I'll summon Swallow Tailed Spike Lizard. Can attack her. I guess I will leave it max for you, because I'm not sure if I can see the prompts for Vampire Lord or not. But yeah. Yeah, so that sounds good. Like, we'll save after the stool and see if there's anyone new on screen. And if we don't see anyone new, then I'll try to reload, like, one of the earlier save states. And we'll look at the other dialogue. Uh, let's go with Trap Card. Yeah, get rid of that Eye of Truth. I honestly kind of helped you out there. That's a pretty weak card. We'll go back to max view here. Very good. Yeah, we got Mirage Knight in the thumbnail on this one. <laughs> Pretty cool monster. It's a shame we only saw it one time, but I mean, I could say that for a lot of monsters in Yu-Gi-Oh, though. Yeah, look at your cards. All right. Oh, the Fiend Mega Cyber. It's a pretty solid monster. Uh, what's he gonna take out here? My Vampire Lord or my Grandora? Yeah, we'll take 2,000 damage. Not bad, not bad, bro, but not bad. I'm proud of you. You actually made the right move. Because uh, now that you got that out, next turn I will summon your ace monster, Jinzo. Uh, okay, can't change position, that's fine. Uh, no, I don't change. Alright, and he's out of cards, so in his hand. Let's see what we draw. Well, you know, maybe I won't play Jinzo. That's kind of a equally good card, so there we go. Sinister Serpent. Return to my hand. Okay, I'll set a card, Robo. And then I'll set a monster card. Yeah, and let's attack with Vampire Lord, shall we? Yeah, I think sacrificing Sinister Serpent will be a little bit better. And yeah, I'll attack this card. Leisure Gentleman. I was honestly expecting a Hero Shadow Scout because he does play that flip monster a lot, you know. Trying to get rid of your spell cards, you know, because, uh, yeah, Jinzo stops your traps, so sort of a good combo, sort of not, because most of the time uh, Hero Shadow Scout ends up helping you out, so. Alright, gonna attack Robo? Yeah, attack me. Okay, and I will activate one of my face downs. Mirror Force is right here, right? Yeah. Go! Mirror Force! Deflect his attack right back at him. Hehe. <laughs> Alright. I draw. And with another draw, I gain more life points, Robot. I 
think we'll go with uh, Legendary Fisherman, just so I keep gaining life points. I sacrifice Sinister Serpent. Yo. Legendary Fisherman, yeah. <laughs> All right, and we'll attack with Vampire Lord. Very good. All right. First one's monster, second one's spell, and the last one's trap. Okay, good. Now I don't have to go max to you. Go, harpoon attack. Legendary fisherman. Alright. And I end my turn, Robot. So yeah, we may have like one or two bonus episodes. Uh man, he played that card quick, mind wipe. That's fine. Yeah. I mean that honestly heals me too, so that card really didn't help you, buddy. I guess that is a quick play, but man, he, he just shotgun that like hecka fast. <laughs> uh, yeah, might 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 not be might not be too bad for my uh, appropriate deck. Hmm. Oh, and we finally drew it. We drew uh, Umi. Nice. Um, I think with Umi I can get exactly zero. So let's uh, go max view here. Yeah, so I activate my field card, a legendary ocean. With this, all water monsters gain 200 attack and defense, and also their levels downgrade by one while in the hand. But my legendary fisherman's unaffected by spell cards, so his attack will stay at 1850. But that means Dark Hole won't work on him, so ha! Sinister Serpent, direct attack. Stool, Robo, so let's see what he has to say after we beat him. <laughs> let's, see if he, let's see if he'll actually agree to use his psychic powers. <laughs> yeah, so we may have like one or two bonus episodes, or this may be the only one, but I was just really curious, so. Alright, 2724. What do you have to say, Robo? Ah, alright, I'll help. There was a suspicious guy with shoulders as wide as a mountain. What? muttering to himself saying Kaiba, Kaiba, over and over. Oh, interesting. Okay. That's all I know. Oh, Wait, is he actually describing like who you have to fight next there? Or does he just, you know, say that by default? I don't know. That's pretty interesting though. Um, with that being done, let's, uh, of course, then I'm going to use a lot of safe states in this one. Uh, let's save on state one. Yeah. Okay. Let's see if there's anyone new around here that we can see new dialogue from. Um, and if not, I'll go and uh, reload a different state. One of the older ones to see if we can see some new dialogue. Uh, so we got two people here. There we go, okay. <laughs> okay, so we got three people on screen right now. So let's see if we can find some new dialogue. Save state, numero uno. Okay. Uh, who's this? Oh, that's actually who we're supposed to go for the main part of the story, so. Uh, but I wouldn't say this guy's shoulders are as wide as like he was talking about. Uh, but yeah, this is who we'll be fighting in the next episode, but. Like I said, I obviously don't want to progress the story here. We just we just want to see the funny dialogue. So is this Weevil again? Uh, no, this is Roba again. Okay, okay, okay. And he's probably going to say the same thing. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, so let's see who's left, last on screen. And right here. Okay, it is Weevil. It is. Okay, okay. So let's... Uh, Let's actually try loading, like, one of the earlier states and see if I can find someone who we haven't heard from before. Um, so one is where we're at. So don't say where we're one, Josh. Let's load state zero. Um, yeah, let's, let's just try this one. Whoa. Okay. Uh, 
no. Okay. <laughs> and I'm not sure where I'm at in this one, so... But this is a bonus episode, who cares? We're just here for the dialogue in this one. Um, who all have I fought? It's... Oh, I haven't fought any of them in this one. Oh, okay, okay. Well, in that case... Uh... Oh, wait, maybe we can talk to someone over here. Let's see. Let's go over here. Because I don't think we talked to, like, Taya or... Um, there's, like, a lot of people we didn't talk to. Let's see their different dialogue. So, let's head over here. In fact, like, the event might not have even happened in this one. Oh, no, I think it did. I hear the music. Okay. Uh, let's see who's all around here. So, this is, what, 10? Yeah, state 10? Okay. Um, who's this? Reveal yourself. There we go. So, there's a couple people. And who's this? Oh, there's Taya. Okay, okay. So, yeah, let's go talk to Taya. Let me save over this. And what was that, 10? Yeah, 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 10. Okay. Okay, yeah, let's see what Taya has to say during this time. <laughs> Atmosphere what? Hi, atmosphere badness is in what no is that? That's not even close to correct grammar. Hi, atmosphere badness is embarrassed somehow, but Bakur has been acting weird. What? I'm worried about him. Okay. Anyway, good luck in the expert cup. How about a quick duel to get you ready? Taya, do you even grammar? That was uh Hmm, <laughs> that, that was pretty funny. I don't know if I'd say that dialogue was worth it. Well, maybe it was. I mean, that was pretty, pretty strange, though. Like, if I didn't know any better, I'd say, like, something's wrong with Taya. Like, whoa, what's going on? I'm, I, I'd be more worried about Taya at this point than, uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, so there's her. And this should be, like, before we face the first duelist, I think, uh, Gansley, so... Yeah, that was some weird dialogue, though. Um, anyone else? Oh, okay, yeah, there's one more person here. Well, yeah, that dialogue alone may have been worth it. Okay, so we've got Shoe Unknown here. Um, let's save here on 10. Yeah. Okay. And uh, let's go here. Oh, this is Rebecca, right? Yeah, okay, okay, okay. And I'm pretty sure the last one's the, uh... The last one has to be Gansley. Yeah, the last one down here has to be Gansley, right? It is, it is, okay. Well, you know what? Maybe we'll defeat Taya just to see what she has to say, because that was some pretty weird dialogue. Um... Yeah, let's do it, let's do it. I mean, this isn't going to count, obviously, because this is, like, a, a lot older of a safe state, but I guess I'll just try to, you know, beat her quickly. Yeah, yeah, that is weird dialogue. I'm worried more about you than you are about Bakura. Uh, sure, let's do it. Let's do it. Just to see what she has to say afterward. <laughs> Man, what weird dialogue. Oh, right, right. And this is an earlier safe state, so I have the Terra Force deck. Okay, I guess I won't be going with the, uh, the Umi deck all episode. Well, duh, Josh. You lowered, you loaded an older safe state. Whoa. Okay. Let's start with this. And I'll just summon Gemini Elf. And we'll just try to beat her as quick as possible and see what she has to say afterward. Which, you know, may be a lot easier said than done because Taya does have a lot of cards that uh, restore her life. Points. So, you know. Ah, good, good card. You know, I remember you had that card because you defeated my final countdown, Taya. Not bad, not bad. Wow, she's playing some good cards this duel. Well, <laughs> I spoke too soon. The Penguin Knight's here. <laughs> Alrighty. Okay, so for the next one, I guess I'll try to load, like, uh, uh, a safe state where we've only beaten uh, just Gamsley, I guess. And then, uh, yeah, we'll see. We'll see if anyone new is around. Um... I guess I'll set this, um, in the turn. And she's got 
the, the healing cards out, so, you know. Oh, she tributed. Not bad. Taya's actually playing really well right here. Yeah. Dark Magician Girl, huh? Alright. Okay, now I should have only one spell in my graveyard. But let's make sure this goes through, okay? Yeah. draw here. Ooh, man, I'm breaking pretty hard. Yep. Not drawing anything too good here. Hmm. Are we gonna lose to Taya? Well, it's okay. It's a bonus episode. Who cares? We're just doing this for fun. <laughs> Dark burning attack. Ah. And it is nice to see they put this card in her deck. I mean, she did use this card in the uh, virtual arc. And that's, uh, that's basically the arc we're on in, at this point in the story anyway. Um, Command Knight Defense? I mean, I guess I can bring it back four times, which... Yeah, uh, that's okay, I guess. In case... It's really helpful in case she starts getting any other monsters out here. But, uh, yeah, I guess we'll just keep... We'll, we'll keep reviving Command Knight until we, uh... Hmm until we get something against this Dark Magician girl. So, all right. Or until I get an Earth Monster. Uh, that kind of helps, honestly. Yeah, because when I go in, I don't want to uh, run into any trap cards, so. Yeah. I guess this does heal my life points, too. All right, Command Knight, return. And we'll be well defending once again. Altea's got us on ropes. That's impressive, honestly. That is impressive, because uh, this is one of my better decks, so... Yeah. Wow. Yeah, magic formula. Although, in this game, I think it's called something different. Uh, I'll check it out once... Uh... Yeah, good thing we got Giant Trunade. Uh, yeah, I'll check it out once... Once it's our turn. I believe that card's been renamed the Magic Formula, but before it wasn't. Allied Forces. Hmm, let me think. That kind of helps. Um, so yeah, in this game it's called Dark Magician's Tome of Black Magic. Uh, yeah. Quick Monster gains 700. One sense of the graveyard, you recover a thousand life points. Not bad, not bad. Alright, well, we'll play Allied Forces. What's funny is I could actually play Giant Trunade to uh, bounce all my spells and then uh, heal a lot with uh, spell absorption because like the continuous in the field cards, uh, I can just replay them. That's kind of funny. All right. Well, Command Knight for the third time. And uh, yeah, we've only got one more revival, so... <laughs> It's kind of funny that I, that I, I use the warrior returning alive, you know, three times in, on a single monster like this. <laughs> All right, and yeah, if we don't get to the other, you know, dialogue in this episode, eh, not a big deal, you know. It's just a bonus episode. So, uh, Toon Gemini Elf. Hmm, that kind of doesn't work because I need to be able to attack right away. Hmm. Let's see. Okay, let's take this. Hmm. I guess I can just summon it in attack mode anyway. Uh. Yeah, let's do it. Tune Jim and I out. See if she has a trap back there. No, okay. Okay, and I'll play my field card. Yeah. Maybe I should have saved my field card though, just in case, but. I think Taya has like Chorus of Sanctuary or something like that. But yeah, both of our life points are really high. <laughs> Mine due to spell absorption, hers due to solemn wishes, so. Yeah, this duel might take like the rest of the episode, honestly. But it's fine. If I'm really, really curious, like I said, we can check out some more in the next episode. More dialogue. I just have to remember that state number one. Moki Moki <laughs> has uh <laughs> 
There we go. Okay, so let's finally clear out Dark Magician Girl. Hajikado, Hurricane! With this, every spell and trap on the field returns to our hands, Taya. There we go. I finally drew the out. And now I'll activate Spell Absorption. And I'll summon Chimini Elf. Alright, and next, I'll play Gaia Power once again. This will boost my life points by 500, and also give my Gemini Elf 500. Alright, and also your magic formula is no longer on the field, Taya. So now, we'll enter the battle phase. And I have to destroy Dark Magician Girl here, so... Alright, Gemini Elf, go! There we go. Alright, we did it, boys and girls. We finally beat Dark Magician Girl, wow. That's impressive, though. Yeah, she, she played that pretty early, drew the power up for it and everything, so not shocked to see that. But thanks to Spell Absorption, I'll gain 1,500 life points, Taya. Summon Command Knight. And since I have one spellcaster and a warrior, Command Knight will be boosted to, uh, I think, 2000 here, right? Let's see. Uh, yep. Yeah, 400 from her own effect and 400 from allied forces. Not bad. Alright, Jim and I, Elf, get in there. Yeah, and I'm not sure when I'll post these bonus episodes. Maybe I'll post them, like, right after we've done, um, the first three? Or maybe, maybe I'll post them after we've done them all, you know? I don't know. I don't know. Either way, you know, just a little something to have fun. All right. Cyber Jar. Hmm. No, thank you. DD Assailants. Alright, an assailant should be my highest powered monster on the field now. So we'll go with Command Knights. Alright. Alright, we finally have a chance to get her below 8,000 here. Just finish this one up. Okay. Yeah, and like I said, I don't know if I'll do another bonus episode or not, but uh, I think this is probably going to be it for this one because it looks like I'm close on time to the 30 minute usual time limit. But uh, yeah. Alright, let's see what Taya has to say here. And the, the experience and stuff doesn't really matter. Uh, but uh, yeah. So. Let's see. What you have to say, Taya? <laughs> oh, do you have Mystical Moon? Oh, she wants to trade. Uh, my awesome Moki Moki. Well, uh, I mean, this trade isn't going to matter because uh, we're obviously going to reload to a the safe state we're on now, but let's just see what she has to say. All right, thanks, you made my day. Yeah, so I'm not sure what she normally has to say after you beat her, but uh, yeah, there you go. Um, with that being said, let's, I guess let's try and see in the, yeah, in case I do decide to do another one. Um, 18, 25, let's load this one and see how many of the big five we've beaten. Uh, kind of in preparation. Uh, let me check here. Yeah, that is good that you can check here, too. 
so we've only beaten one of them at this stage. Ah, okay, okay. So, yeah, yeah, maybe. And it looks like I already have some people loaded up on this one, too. So it's, uh, eight? That's the one I checked, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. So, uh, and it looks like we have people loaded up here. So let's see what they have to say. Oh, Taya is still here after you beat one of them. Okay. Uh, let's see if we can find anyone else. Who's this? Oh, is it Roba? Oh, it's a shadow game. Well, like I said, I don't think I have time for this. But, um, I guess in the next episode, we will... I think that was Roba, too, as far as uh, the person. But I'll probably see if I have a safe state where I've beaten, uh, you know, uh, Gansley and Crump. And we'll see if anyone's anyone different around, I think. Well, if, if I decide to do another bonus episode. Uh, if not, we will proceed with the LP as usual. So, yeah. Appreciate you guys for joining me. Uh, <laughs> hope you enjoyed some of the, the dialogue like I did. And, uh, yeah, it's pretty interesting that no one in the first city, you know, seems to react to anything. But that's actually a little bit weird. But anyway, uh, I guess I'll see you guys all the next time. <laughs> Alright, have a good day.